as many high risks in the fight. And it looks like uh, I did manage to wear this out. Not nearly as many hydralisks were shooting this time. In any case, let's get these guys in. And uh, that's it. So basically. Sometimes I may be helping my own enemy. By moving my army forward, but in this case I had a numerical superiority, so certainly I uh, was not helping my enemy. In any case, let's uh, do this uh, one more time. Huh? Alright, let's go upwards, forward, and just blast them. Looks like that worked out splendidly. Okay, they have 16 damage. This guy has 12 damage. But they have 16 damage over 1.43 seconds, while the Hydralis has 12 damage over 0.54 so it looks like a hydralisk is actually twice as uh, lethal and uh, still the roach would just barely lose against the hydralisk now let's take a look just uh, to what kind of extent that goes and I want to know precisely just um, how much the hydro this is more effective than the roach okay so these guys get got into a fight <laughs> Now in here, I've seen um, that uh, that uh, the hydralis were shooting a lot more. Now the roaches are shooting a couple of seconds longer, <coughs> and as you can see, there are more losses on the hydralis side. But still, the hydralis. Um, has successfully prevailed. Now as you can see here if the units end up being clumped up and during the battle they uh, move in a way that's uh, hindering their uh, ability to shoot they will be suffering. Now it looks like this time the Hydralis force took the most damage so it looks like um, Roaches are really really good counter are a really really good opponent against the Hydralis. Now the problem that arises is if more Hydralisks face more Roaches. Now what really happens here is that um, the, um, the Roaches do not have such a great range. They have 4, the Hydralis has 5 here or 6 and simply more hydralis are shooting and more damage they're dealing per second then the roaches eventually the roaches become less and less lethal the more hydralis there are here and uh, that's the way it kind of works it looks like none of the forces are trying to move forward this time. I would suspect that Roaches would have to go a bit forward in this scenario. And um, use their ability to strike. Okay. So what do we have? Hydralis has 90 health. Roaches 145. One armor. 315 move speed. Hydralisk 0 armor, 394 
maximum speed. Okay, so this time I'm going to move the roaches and at the same time making more roaches attack but also making more hydralis attack. And what do we see here? How will this impact the fight? It looks like uh, on one-on-one -on -one unit basis that was not impacting the fight uh, truly truly greatly. It's just... Uh, It's very similar. It could be that uh, same unit compositions when they fight, uh, they don't really suffer too much of a difference in fighting conditions unless one group doesn't shoot. So here we had 900 resources left out. <laughs> in any case, now let's try on the hydralis side here and try to keep these hydralisks consistently up front shooting at the roaches, always moving just the hydralisks. And as you can see that would eat up the hydralisks and uh, it would be a disaster for the hydralisks to kind of consistently take damage it's because as you can see I move them forward, they're not shooting but they're taking that slime and that slime is just killing them. A truly truly great race and uh, roaches would just uh, prevail so it's now the roaches moving forward now while the roaches are moving forward the roaches will take more damage and that's what this is all about as far as I'm aware here the party that moves forward is taking unnecessary damage. So in one example I moved the roaches forward so the two roaches at the back would shoot and the roaches lost. I previously to that moved the uh, hydralis forward while the hydralis were moving forward they were taking unnecessary damage. Well let's just say that they took damage without shooting to be precise and in turn they um, they lost, this group lost. So, what if we would get both of these parties together, just like that, at the same time, consistently? How would this impact the fight? That's probably the only way we can work things out. I wonder, does the melee animation mean that they're fighting in the melee? In any case, it looks like the Hydralis would win, but that was very, very entertaining. So let's get them forward. At first, it looks like Hydralis would shoot first because um, they are a bit faster than the Roaches. They have uh, 394 speed versus 315 on Roaches. But look at that. Um, it looks like this time the roaches would prevail. So a very interesting kind of thing happened here. I'm not sure why but that's why the unit tester is so helpful. Well this is a kind of X-File situation because the last time the Hydralis has won with confidence, this time it's not the way. So uh, it kind of negates the theory of both forces moving forward and Hydralisk uh, winning. Now look at that, this time they won with, uh, with confidence, so that's, that's a bit interesting. In any case, let's move them as close as possible, just like that. I'm going to reset it because I think I uh, ordered all the roaches to attack just a single unit. Okay, now it looks like that was a bit more natural. And uh, let them shoot 
So if I move them up close again quickly, the roaches do end up gaining more out of this because uh, at any point in time, due to the lower range, roaches wouldn't be shooting nearly as uh, much. Nearly, I mean, not nearly as many roaches would be shooting at the same time onto the hydraulics. Okay. So what if I just move them a bit forward? And now the hydraulic should take the advantage of its range. And uh, the range gives the hydraulic quite a bit of uh, leverage here. However, the fight looks very, very much uh, similar. However, <clears throat> And these guys would prevail. Now, what would happen if I would upgrade the range even further? <coughs> so, this time, the range for the Hydralisk increased from... Uh, <coughs> 5 to 6. And that means a lot more Hydralisk would shoot. And as you can see, only one layer of uh, roaches from shooting time. So that makes Hydralisks much, much, much more competitive. Alright. What if I would get this guy in? Okay, let's attack. Just exactly one line is hitting. And uh, now, if the hydrolysis would move up a little bit forward, that could probably mean more. So now I'm turning the upgrades off. They have currently five. Let's take a look again at this and how different that is. Also, one layer of ferocious is attacking. And uh, it looks like the roaches are doing uh, a better job than previously, without a doubt. Okay, so now I'm going to move the hydrolis a bit forward. And look at that, all the hydrolis are shooting now. Or almost all at any given time. And that kind of negates the damage they took previously. They do survive with 800 in total. And now they survive with 1,400. So you see that moving forward, these kind of units under these kind of conditions is absolutely disastrous. Uh, the idea that uh, they will come closer, all of them will shoot and inflict more damage than otherwise, in this scenario is false because. Uh, simply they would take damage while not attacking and uh, it would end up being disastrous 50% less survived in under these kind of conditions <laughs> in any case another thing I want to try out is uh, just how effective upgrades really really are let's take a look and first of all I'm going to just stack these up against each other so these are zero upgrades. 
It looks like the speed has been increased, though. The roach speed. So they're not completely without upgrades. And the speed is important because they get in a position to shoot from. So if I turn the upgrades off, the speed is reduced by like over one. Or almost one. Almost one. No, that's over one. 1.5. 1.05. Okay, so let's stack them up against without upgrades. So they do not have an increased speed up. <coughs> and they will get in their positions a little bit slower. Okay, normally three will survive on one side or the other. Now, um, what would happen if I would move one force much closer? And uh, you see, they already took a necessary damage. That is damage that they took while not shooting. And eventually, three roaches, uh, when the battle started, were not near less effective while the enemy force was shooting with the same number of roaches as us after we move closer to them as we and that kind of negates our uh, advantage that had to be there now I'm gonna increase the tax attack um, upgrade and this would give uh, this side plus two on the attack so let's take a look how this would uh, play out <clears throat> and it looks like with a plus two attack I mean plus two on attack so basically from 16 to 18 they've survived with confidence now obviously that's from three surviving roaches to six and that's just absolutely unbelievable right this is in fact unbelievable now what would happen if I under the same conditions would move these forward they would take a bit more damage but still all of my units would be shooting as well as is, but all of my units would have upgrades. Upgrade the uh, plus one weapons while he has zero. In any case, it doesn't look like that's really kind of working out. So, just kind of moving forces a bit forward is not really working. Not even by a little bit. In any case, I'm going to try this once more, just like that. And I didn't move too close. Just close enough. And it looks like the output is a little bit different. But still, it's not giving me any more advantage. So basically, not microing. Down forward was the right thing to do. Okay, let's just go attack. Just like that. And uh, watch. So that's plus one on weapons versus zero zero. How will this play out? <clears throat> It looks like uh, <clears throat> three units survived. Surprisingly enough, the last time uh, six survived. 
In any case, it simply means that, uh, first over here.